be healed perfectly soon. In Jesus Christ's name. Come out of him in Jesus Christ's name. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in Jesus Christ's name. Come out in the blood of Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Carry it for that child. Carry it for that child. <laughs> you wanted to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> you feel it, the fullness of it. <laughs> Mudongo, they are happy for you, don't worry. Okay. Ah, ah, what are you laughing at? Look at these people. <laughs> In this country, we call you Odiero. Like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Dance, I'm Zungu dance. <laughs> may the fire, man of God, may fire go with you. Wish. Let's hear conversions from your ministry in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So viewers all over the world, good morning and win today, win tomorrow and win forever in Jesus' mighty name. We greet good morning because the Bible says, though the sorrows may last for a night, his joy comes in the morning. Maybe you're wondering why we greet good morning in the evening, that is the reason. And of course, uh, we decree over your life that it is a new dawn in Jesus' mighty name. Now the Bible also says in the book of Isaiah that nations shall come to your rising, or rather some versions say nations shall come to your glory and here the open heavens ministry of Jesus Christ we have had the rare privilege uh, from God Almighty and of course from the Holy Spirit to receive visitors from all over the world all the nations of the world and with me today is a wonderful minister of God from Greenland who came over to partake of what the Lord is doing right here in this ministry without so much ado let me give her, give him brother the chance to introduce himself to us tell us his name and maybe the country he is from in Jesus Jesus name. Welcome sir. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so my name is Peter de Graaf <laughs> and uh, I'm actually from Holland. Okay. 
Um, but I reside in Greenland together with my wife and my three children, of which uh, the last two, they were born in Greenland. So we have been living there about for nine to ten years mm -hmm. to uh, minister uh, and to start a church. Okay. Yes. So originally from Poland, but you stay in Greenland. Exactly. Maybe how did you come to know about uh, this church, the Open Heavens Ministry of Jesus? Um, I came to know about this church through Facebook, actually. So uh, just a video came online and um, I immediately could see that there was okay. the power of God at work. Yeah. Okay. Maybe how long ago was that? I think it was maybe about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that is when you made up your mind, maybe over time, that you would want to maybe come and visit the man Oh, no, not in the beginning. I was <laughs> just checking. I was just looking and looking because I want to see also the sincerity of, mm -hmm. uh, of a minister mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, the honesty and the way he is ministering. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I got to know Prophet uh, over the months. Yeah, and it, uh, took, it took my attention. Yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe if you allow me to ask, uh, how soon ago did you make a decision that you wanted to come and maybe meet the man of God? How soon ago? The decision to come here, mm -hmm. it was uh, made around, I think around March. Mm -hmm. So it was short. It was That's about recent. last month. Sorry? About last month. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think one or two months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe you're a minister of God? Yes, I... You, uh, you talked about uh, you having a ministry way back in, uh, in, in Greenland. Maybe, maybe what do you do uh, in ministry? Okay, in ministry. You have to realize that Greenland... Um, uh, in the part that we live in, mm -hmm. um, there was a, um, how can I say this, a state church. Mm -hmm. um, but the Lord sent us to this place to mm -hmm. start a church mm -hmm. that is, um, yeah, that people come to know what actually the resurrection of Christ mm -hmm. means for their life mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing, and my wife is supportive in so, this. So, so exactly, your, your, your office is, uh, you're a missionary? Yes, I'm a, a mission missionary. Maybe yes. basically just based in, uh, in Greenland, or maybe you move around the globe, maybe uh, with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ? Uh, I don't know in the future, but as for now, uh, I'm, I'm working in Greenland. In Greenland? Yes. Maybe what is the name of your church? The name of the church, shall I say it in Greenlandic? It is uh, Inunerup Nutapo Kalufia. And oh. This basically means New Life Church. New Life Church. Yes. Maybe what uh, influenced uh, your choice, or rather your choice for the name of New Life Church? Oh, because is it the new life in Jesus Christ? Yes, amen. Uh, this church was established already on the West Coast for many years, mm -hmm. but there was no uh, church available on the East Coast and nobody went there. Mm -hmm. So when we moved to Greenland, we came to hear about this Pentecostal church, it's a Pentecostal church, and uh, we decided it is uh, not okay to just function alone. So we decided to uh, get to know this church, and uh, they supported us, and they gave us the blessing to start that pioneer church in mm -hmm. East Greenland. Mm -hmm. Now, generally, uh, if you allow me to ask you, generally in Greenland, how is ministry like? How is Christianity like? Is it as hard, maybe, maybe converting souls to God? Uh, do, do you have problems where you have influence from other religions, even as you try to, 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 you know, to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you realize that you have a problem from the, an influence from the other religions over there in Greenland? Um, difficult to say. I think religion is not the biggest hindrance. I think the biggest hindrance is uh, language. Mm -hmm. Because East Greenlandic is a very difficult language to mm -hmm. learn. Mm -hmm. uh, as for now, I, I hardly speak it, so I have a translator. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think this is the most important, most, most, uh, yeah, the biggest obstacle. There's a language barrier. The language barrier. So you speak English, but then I uh, do speak, uh, Eng as you speak English, somebody else has to translate it. To I speak English, but uh, they don't speak English at all. So mm -hmm. I had to learn Danish over time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in Greenland itself. Mm -hmm. so I learned or rather for you to disseminate, or for you to preach, you have to speak English, but then somebody else has to, to translate it. Um, yes, but I speak Danish now. Mm -hmm. So the Danish will be translated into Greenlandic. Or Danish, yes. and then translated into in uh, East Greenlandic. Okay, and I understand. Now, I, I believe that as you made your decision that you want to come and meet with the man of God, uh, that, that there is something that guided your decision. Uh, what exactly were you expecting uh, God to do, maybe through his servant, even as you came? What a beautiful question. Mm -hmm. uh, what made me to come here? Because it's very simple, you mm -hmm. know. I know about grace. I know about healings. Mm -hmm. I know about deliverance. God mm -hmm. is doing this work in mm -hmm. Greenland as well. Mm -hmm. But when I look on Facebook and uh, I see the videos of the man of God, of the prophet, mm -hmm. then I can see it is an abounding grace. It mm -hmm. is so strong. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I think we have just much to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it doesn't happen in my own church, it mm -hmm. doesn't mean that it shouldn't happen in another church. Absolutely. We should learn from other people, mm -hmm. other ministers, mm -hmm. humble ourselves and mm -hmm. get to know uh, how, they are, how they are ministering mm -hmm. the gospel. Mm -hmm. So this is a strong desire. Mm -hmm. I want to see souls saved, mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. I want to see souls saved in Greenland. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is my heart's desire. So mm -hmm. God has to make me able. So I need to have his anointing. Without mm -hmm. his ableness in me, I mm -hmm. cannot. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I could see that he was able, the prophet is able, mm -hmm. and he's harvesting souls. So mm -hmm. I want to learn, mm -hmm. and I want to have this impartation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yesterday, uh, we had a service. You went mm -hmm. the Sunday service yesterday. And there is a one uh, very profound comment that you made, that you've seen graces before. But then there is a rare type of a grace that you realized on this altar. Maybe, maybe how, uh, how, how can you explain that? How can I explain that? Mm -hmm. You know, the gospel itself is easy to, to tell. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the grace of God and the power of God, but mm -hmm. what backs it up is, is another grace, mm -hmm. I would say, mm -hmm. which, which God, uh, he, he backs up his gospel mm -hmm. with signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. So this is what I see basically here. And mm -hmm. it is not just once in a month with mm -hmm. one person, mm -hmm. but it is a, a, on a continual basis. Mm -hmm. And this is what I think is, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, Mm -hmm. yeah, is an abounding grace. Mm -hmm. So it is not just word. It is not just about the preaching of the word. It should be accompanied by accompanying signs, miracles, and wonders. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thessalonians, it also says that uh, Paul said that my word, that my gospel was brought to you not just in word, but in the Holy Spirit and in power. Mm -hmm. So this is absolutely necessary for mm -hmm. us as ministers mm -hmm. how to do this and mm -hmm. learn. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. How was your first encounter with the man of God like? My first encounter, it was, uh, I sensed the presence of the Holy Spirit immediately. Mm -hmm. So I, I felt at home immediately. Mm -hmm. And um, when he prayed for me, I could sense the power of God impart me. Yes, this was powerful. Okay. So the first prayer I had with him was on the one-on-one on, one on Saturday. On and Saturday, then, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on Sunday, indeed, he prayed again for me and uh, it, it was a deeper touch of God. Okay. And, um, you know, I'm not here for the show. I'm mm -hmm. here for business. Yeah. You know, I mm -hmm. want to be empowered by the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, I, when he took my hand, I remember that he made me to walk behind him, but I could sense a power around my feet, mm -hmm. strong power, which made me fall over and just impartation happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, we thank God for that. And then Amen. now on the part of, now on the part of um, uh, what was happening, like on this ministry, or rather in this ministry, we, we have seen God moving so mightily. And I, see, I think you saw that one yesterday and then the previous services. We, we've seen God uh, moving so mightily. And if, mm. if you can just check behind you, there, there are people who came with crutches, people who Amen. came, you know, with kneecaps and very many other things. And the Lord healed them so profoundly. There are people who have come with cancer and they received their healing to the glory Amen. and honor of the name of the Lord. But, but then we, we find that in the, in, the, in the society we live in, we have a lot of ridicule. People will abuse you. People will tell you words that uh, you're faking miracles and all that. W w what can you say about the same? Uh, what can I say about that? Why would you fake miracles mm -hmm. if people will persecute you for it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes persecution. Mm -hmm. This is not a hobby to be persecuted. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to fake miracles, mm -hmm. you will know people will persecute you. Mm -hmm. It should only be the real deal which you're willing for, to suffer for. Mm -hmm. And we are willing to suffer for Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a minister of the gospel. Yes. Uh, and you preach the true gospel uh, of Christ. Uh, maybe way back in Greenland. Maybe someone uh, by chance will be watching because we have viewers all over the world. Uh, just in case somebody uh, gets to bump into this video, wh wh what is the message you have? Uh, specifically, maybe especially because you are you're a missionary. What message do you have to Christians all over the world? Take the great commandment of Jesus Christ serious. Mm -hmm. He has sent out his disciples and backs up his word with power. Mm -hmm. So who else on earth will do this? Mm -hmm but you and me mm -hmm. as Christians. Mm -hmm. You know, not everybody is, set, is called by God to go out, mm -hmm. but everybody is called to, take, uh, to, to partake in this mission. Mm -hmm. If you cannot go out, then support mm -hmm. those who are mm -hmm. and pray for those who are going. Mm -hmm. Anybody can have their share mm -hmm. and have a, have a share in the joy of the harvest as well. Mm -hmm.
Okay, thank yeah. you. Maybe this is a little bit out of the context, uh, but, but allow me to ask. Uh, I, I believe Greenland is extremely cold, but now you came to Kenya and you found that it's a little bit different. Maybe you, you could have come in January. You found that it's a little bit different. How, how was your, your stay like around? When I arrived in the airport uh, in Nairobi, mm -hmm. it was so warm. Mm -hmm. You know, the climate is very different. Mm -hmm. So on the way, when they picked me up uh, to stay in the apartment here, mm -hmm. which is provided for, so I, I asked them already to turn open the windows. It was too warm for me. But slowly my body is adapting to the culture, uh, to, the, to the climate here. Mm -hmm. But by too warm, you mean uh, you, you're not used to that? No. W the, what, what is it like in Greenland? Extremely cold? Talking about the temperatures, mm -hmm. I think uh, right now we are touching upon zero degrees, so things are slowly zero melting. Degrees. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but if the sun is shining, you can sit outside with a t shirt, it's okay. So this is extremely hot for right you. now. This is quite warm for me, yeah. Quite warm for yeah. you, okay. We thank God for you. Uh, maybe generally, how was your stay like? Did you enjoy the people, uh, the, the hospitality, and all that? You know, I love Africans because mm -hmm. they're, they're... Maybe they're, did you test our, our, our meals, a different meal, all together? I enjoy the hospitality and I enjoy to just partake in what people eat here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, yes, that was a joy and I felt at home. What was the first meal you tested right here? Can meat. You? Meat. It was meat, but I, I don't know which meat, mm -hmm. but tasted good. <laughs> it was meat. Okay, we thank God for you. Thank you because you found, you, you found time to come and we thank God because specifically you came and you received and we believe that uh, your ministry and everything about uh, your service to the Lord is different. You've partaken of this grace uh, right here that is working on this ministry and we believe that your life, your ministry and everything is not going to be the same again. Maybe your wife is going to bump into this message your children are going to bump into it. What, what is your word for them? Oh, I love them so much. You love them so and much. And I thank them so much. They support me in going. Mm -hmm. And I know already they're looking forward for me coming back. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you come back. Uh, the time you come back, you come back with them. Yes. Just a parting shot. Um, what word do you have for Kenyans? Thank this you. being your, your very first time in Kenya, what would, you, what, what would you love to tell the Kenyans? I would love to tell Kenyans, appreciate what you have. Mm -hmm. We're in the same boat, if you're in the boat of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the last thing we want to do is fight each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand something, we need to be careful to criticize. Mm -hmm. That Thank is you. my message. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So if you are all over the world, you've heard that one for yourself. Our brother, who is a missionary and a minister of the wonderful gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, bumped into the man of God right on Facebook and he made up his mind sometimes last month that he was going to come and partake of the grace of God that is in operation on this altar. And to the glory of God, he traveled all the way, miles away, and he came right here. He has been here for some time now. He met with the man of God and there was an impartation, we believe, that happened and his life is never the same again. We look forward also to hosting many and many other international visitors and even those from within to the glory and honor of his name. Keep watching Heavens TV and we believe that this is going to be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. See you next time. God bless you.